Hi, it's Will here now, and what I'm going to attempt today is I'm going to attempt a tutorial starting from scratch on Ultimate Fishing Simulator. So here we are, the Ultimate Fishing Simulator. In Steam, I'm going to press the play button. And here we go. It should be setting up. Let's see what happens. So these are just going to be a few hints and tips from starting and what you need to do from what the basic kit you get when you first start off. So I'm not going to use my, my normal one, I'm going to use an empty one. Uh, and we're going to go normal. We're going to give it a profile name of tutorial. Uh, and we'll create that. We've got all the sounds and everything else that comes with it. So uh, we'll load that profile. We'll skip the tutorial on that. And um, what we will do now is we'll go there. Right, uh, no, we don't want to go there. I went to the wrong thing. I want to go to options. Right, so we've got our resolution, our quality, uh, very easy eyes quality on there. We've got our music, and we'll, uh, we'll turn that music off. I'll bring up the ambient sound a little bit more. Uh, camera sensitivity should be okay. We've got our camera settings there. Uh, Got a bit indicator. We'll leave it at the normal one there as a, a beginner. Uh, build this window. Well, that's all alright. That's all alright. And we'll save that in a minute. So we have options, controls. We look at our controls and moving about and how to cast and all that lot. Uh, and using the controller to do that, uh, which I don't do. I use a mouse and the keyboard to uh, do these things. So we'll save them there. And we saved and then we will uh, add to the front and the first thing we get as an option is betty lake so we'll uh, we'll go in there and you're provided with a basic you're provided at level one and you're provided with a basic spinning rod spinning reel uh a little fly for bait and uh hook and line of course uh, with a float so let's go back in here and let's have a look long time since I've been in the uh, basic setup for a beginner and this is what we get and we uh, we're at this end as you can see we just have a look at the tackle beforehand so I am using it online you can see that there's other players on there at the moment and uh, there's uh, a lot of people on there I'm just going to say hi to everybody so I pressed F1 to go into the chat part and just put hi all there we go and F1 to come off of that um, so what we'll do is we'll have a, a quick look. So when we go to our rod, there and we look in there, we've got the basic rod, um, which we've got here, <coughs> which is, is not bad. And if you have a look at the, uh, the rod, but uh, the reel. So our, on our reels, if I can get to reel, come on. Show me the reel, our spinning reel, there it is. There's a basic spinning reel uh, with its stats there and everything else. Um, we'll come off reels and we'll go to the float. Shows you the float we've got, which is a basic float, works really well. Um, don't get me wrong with that. So we'll come off there, we'll go to line. This is the line we're on and it's, uh, <coughs> it's breaking strain. As you can see, it's light monofilament line, very light monofilament line on that. We'll check the hook. So we've got an hook there, and we've got a choice of sizes. It starts with a size 4, you can go all the way down to a size 8 or up to a size 2. Um, so bait, we've only got the fly on there. So this is how we start off. Um, you've got your line length for in water, which you can adjust there, and our float weight above. Uh, so I'm going to drop that to about there actually, I'm going to get it fairly low and go to resume 
right so we're right at the the top end of the of this uh, lake so let me just show you if I hit escape again and I go up into the corner here this is the, the map of the pegs on the lake so you can actually go along and choose any one of them pegs we're actually over there at peg four at the beginning so I'm going to go back for now I'm going to go resume and uh, we'll walk up using the W and what we'll do is we'll try and float one out there so here we go we won't go too far into the water right so to cast you lift the red up if you press the left mouse button to get it, take it back you can see the line there indicate let go pull backwards with your mouse and it'll chuck it out and there we are at 25 it has now if you look we've got no drag set some people don't like the drag set I do I'm going to set the drag and I'm going to set it fairly high as well uh, probably 43 to 57 if I can get there 33 will do and I'm also going to change the speed of the reel you can change that with the F and the R keys F takes it down as you can see on the indicator there and R takes it up so you're reeling in faster so first of all we'll get a tight line on that and see whether we can get a little bite on this at any time if you're watching the circle there you can see you float when that bobs under of course you've got a fish on so we'll just have a check at that We've got no money in here at the moment to buy any other equipment. So what we want to do in the first place is um, catch some fish, get some money by selling the fish. And you can also do it like I did at first by selling one fish, releasing the other, which gives you experience points on the release. Um, so it's up to you guys, whichever one of them you pick. But the more money you have, the more equipment you can buy. Um, so you want to gain one net as well as uh, as experience so we're not doing too well here are we of course at this stage you've not got hunter vision or anything like that you have to build up to that here we go we've got a fish on there we go so there we go we've got, we've got a fish on we want to play this fish if you're on the light tackle remember the light line so let it run you just check it every so often and see whether you can turn it You'll see at the bottom there how many uh, meters away it is. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try and get it to come past that. We don't, oh, we lost it. When it goes completely red, light, uh, light red, dark red, sorry, um, then it's going to snap off. So let's chuck it out again. Uh, and I did a sorry, I did a, a quick toss out then, which is using the um, right mouse button. I didn't want to do that. I didn't mean to do that. So we'll. Took it out again and we'll not take it out so far. We'll just take about halfway there. We'll just chuck it out, let it sit and see whether we can do anything. Now you've got a number of, of flies as you can see on here. I think these, I don't know how many is on there to start off with, around 20 I think, because 30 or something like that. That you get free to start off the game with to catch fish. Um, it's, it's not bad we all start here and I, as we progress I'm going to show you how to catch more fish and what the best baits are for that particular spot and what is the best bait overall for them. we've got fish on in again so we'll go for it let's get in we're just gonna have to try and reel this in bit by bit try and keep an, an eye on him we don't want him to go too far that way Let's see where we can get this landed. Oh, we've not done too bad either. Um, we've got cutthroat trout, uh, which is, is very good. So it's $19, so we're going to set that $19. And as you'll see in the circle, that'll move around. Um, so there we go. There we go. So we've got about $165 in there at the moment. We'll try and take another little fish out of here, if we can. It was very, that wasn't bad that to get... Um, a cutthroat on the on the first as the first fish out so let's see whether we've got any hide or anything like that or a very small murder or something like that down there that will take that as well so we keep an eye on that float wait for it to bob sometimes i leave it to bob for third time as it hits the third time under I, I attack sometimes i attack on the second takedown um, so always keep an eye on that and keep an eye on your float and keep your line as tight as you can 
as you can see we're not very far out here I'm hoping that there's some fish near in we've got a little tap there we go and if we look at we can get this one in pretty quick oh and we've got another cut pro we're doing nearly well we'll have the money from that one as well so what we're doing now is because we fished the beginning part we'll uh, we'll go back into that the escape and we'll go back into the map of there and we'll take another spot now good fishing spots along here or good pegs are five three what and one and two six is a bit of a miss so what we'll do is uh two's up in the air number one's always a good place to start there's normally a lot of small sort of trout down this end so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to walk out onto the rock here and i'm going to turn this way into this little pool part here and i'm going to just chuck it out a little bit not very far just out there and we'll see where we can pick a, a little fish up from there always um, buy equipment the best equipment for the level you're on if you can um, because that will make you progress now you've got a choice of keeping the equipment or selling it the only equipment you can't sell is this basic kit that you get right away at the beginning when you start uh, playing this game so here we go see whether we can get anything out of here there's normally a few burbot around here and some small trout and what have you we'll see whether we can get any sort of take over here always move around as well you can walk around as well and fish in different parts you don't have to pick the peg uh, where you want what you can do it's up to you how you want to fish the uh, the lake as you can see there's plenty of people fishing on here plenty of people catching fish uh, some of these will be new people to the game or to the simulator if you like and it's, it can be a really relaxing game plus there's a bit of camaraderie sometimes with the people um, that are online now you've got a choice of playing this online or locally now if you play locally and you catch the fish and you sell them then fish are gone for good so if you play you, you're playing for the fish and the money play online um, because every time you go back in it respawns them fish so there's always going to be a lot of fish about they're not going to disappear from your uh, local one so what this is a way to make the money and you can go back and forth local to online on the same account it doesn't make any difference it all counts to the fish you've got the amount of money you've got and the level you'd, you'd increase into so uh, you don't know win-win if you're online online one because you can respawn the fish you can go back out if you're in the favorite spot and then come back in and it will respawn them fish um, so you've always got the, the fish that he was catching back again if you understand what I mean rather than lose them on your local one where they're gone for good we're not getting not getting any bites over here now where even though there's this fish flicking and what have you so uh, I'll just bring this one in for a second and we'll take it further out I think We'll take it out towards that rock there. So just a quick flick over this side. There we go. Let it sink. Come back up. So we like pointing up. Take up a bit of the slack. And let's see whether we're, we're in any luck whatsoever. Um, we can also go out and buy some more bait now. I think we've got some money where we can buy some more bait. And we'll do that as well. Um, let's just tighten that up a bit can't really see that there but let's have a look at it there I don't want to pull on that line too tight because I don't want to draw it any further in than it is it's only like 16 meters away and guys don't forget when you start in this game it's a patience game like it is in, on the real thing it's all about you know, just being a little bit patient and waiting for the fish to come along Excuse me. As we go along as well, I'm going to show you within that menu part that we was on. 
um, what each individual thing does. A wind running at 9 meters per second, which is flattening that out a little bit. We don't seem to be having the look that we normally have at, uh, at this peg. So what we can do here, as we've got a little bit of money, we should be able to go and buy some baits. So I suggest worms and maggots if you can afford them. Now don't forget each individual one's going to cost you any money. So the more money you've got, the better obviously, the more bait you can buy and different baits. I did expect at least a burbot out of it at this time, but we were nothing at all. So let's bring it in. Let's have a quick look at, uh, at this menu as well. And I'll just show you right. So what we do is to get to that menu, we press the escape button and that brings us into here. So we've got the map for our pegs. Um, I just want to go back from that. Then we've got the tackle that we we have. We've got our own thing here, right? We've got no levels unlocked, as you can see. Uh, our experience points are uh, 26 out of 100. We've got 180 dollars to spend. We've been on 11 minutes. We've caught. So it's got two fish, but we lost one. Um, so we've got three fights. That's three fights. We only had two, haven't we? Um, so and then we've got the difficulty level normal. What we want to do is get through these levels and unlock these because these make a big difference especially when you get down to the boat level here yeah, which is level 3 and the hunter vision which allows you to see underneath at the fish and um, you've got your invites to people you've got what's in all of these um, DLCs basically so you can go and have a look what's about um, Petty Lake isn't actually on there but we tend to have all the trout in there the, where you are within the leaderboard if you want to have a look at what look, sort of area you're at and then we've got our settings that we was in before so what I want to do is go back to here and I want to go to bait and I want to go shop for some bait and we've got some maggots as you can see we don't own any but then maggots are going to cost us three dollars a piece so I'm going to buy ten maggots just press the buy button and the number you want so we've got 10 maggots we'll keep them i want to go back down the out we've got some bread we can use we've got other cut baits and what have you but i just want some worms for the moment as well because they tend to get the burbot and that sort of thing so these are six dollars so i know we're using money up but it might catch us fish so let's always oh, we can't have them because you've got to be level three for them aren't you so we've got to stick to the level one baits um so what we'll do is we'll buy some bread worm and leech on a cocktail bait further on down the line when you've got more experience uh, are very very good baits so let's buy a little bit of bread i mean these bread cubes are four dollars each which is expensive of course because we've got no money but we'll uh, we'll buy a few anyway We'll just buy five of them and then we'll go resume. Oh no, we don't want to go resume. We want to go back because we want to put some on the hook, don't we? So we'll uh, we'll get rid of the flies, of which we've got 27 left. And we'll actually equip with some maggot. Let's see how we get on with some maggot. I don't want to go into that go stream there. We're still in here. We're still at this creek part uh, where it comes into the lake in this little pool. And we'll, uh, we'll just kick out into this little pool again. Don't forget. Um, left mouse button to cast. Direction you, you look in. Depending on the strength. Different uh, distances for the strength of the cast. I think that was just like a little flick out. Let's see whether we can get anything interested now on a, on a maggot. 
It is difficult this game at first guys, it really is because you, you're so limited to what baits and tackle you can use and you need to earn the money which is all makes it all part of the challenge of course and uh, it's a great challenge it really is at first. It, it really is a real good game. If you do get into it be, pre be prepared to spend a hell of a lot of time on the game um, because it is fairly addictive at first it's, and you need that time to make the earnings. We're still having a look round here are we? Nothing just took a, a fancy to the maggot. We might have to move over to a different peg in a bit or just try somewhere else within this area. As far as the menu goes today that's all I'm going to cover in it. Uh, this is just the beginning, just for the beginner. So um, right, we're not getting much luck there are we? So, Let's chuck one out just on the other. Oh, look at that. There was a fish right there as well. Probably coming towards it. We've got this area as well here. So we'll, we'll chuck one out of this area. Probably near the bank as we, as we can get. And we're not actually near the bank there. That was a bad cast by me, by the way, guys. I wanted to get a bit nearer the bank than that. <coughs> Excuse me. Anybody wearing ear earphones? I am really sorry. Let's just tighten that up a bit. Let's see whether we can get anything to have a nibble on this. A lot of people out here tonight. I mean, this is very late here in the UK. And in fact, it's 1.37am in the morning and recording this. So a lot of these people will be from different parts of the world. Um, which is always good. Here we go. Strike, lift up. Keep the keep the head eye on on the fish as well. It's always a good thing. There we go. We got a pumpkin seed, and as you can see, we got a new record. We've never never caught one before on this one, so uh, that is our new r record. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the money because we want to build money up, and we're getting further on on that uh, on that level one. So let's just kick another one out further into the side if I can. No, I still didn't catch that very well. But it'll do where it is. Let's see whether we can get another pumpkin seed or something else and that'll small eyed or something like that. We've got something going across the top of the water there, all coming our way as well, so we might be a bit lucky. That looks like a bigger fish, we might bypass ours, we've not got that big a bait on for the bigger fish. Remember to match your bait further onto the size of the fish you're looking for. Of course there's 123 species throughout the DLCs for you to go for. Uh, once you've got them, um, you get into the expert mode then. I think that's level 21 onwards. It does take some time to get there. Here we go. We've got a little knot then. Can't see me float. It's not gone for it. Hmm. And here we go. And we're in. And we're redlining. So we don't want to really do that. This is a much bigger fish, I think. Let's see whether we can get this in. Oh, there we go. Not bad at all. We've got a brook trout. Uh, and we'll have that. We'll have $8 for that. It's not a massive fish, but it's big enough for the tackle we're on. So uh, we'll try out there again. We'll get, try and get a bit closer on that way. Not too far, because if we hit the land, of course, it'll just bounce back to us. So there we are. We're near the, the edge now where I wanted to be. Let's see whether we can pick something up along there. It's a bit hard to see this uh, this float with that dark background. So I'm going to try and lift it up as far as I can and across. That'll be, at least you can see me, uh, me float on there. Let's see where we can pick something in that's close to the, uh, the shoreline. Because don't forget, 
there's a lot of big fish under your feet as well guys they're not always out right out of the distance as I'll show on other tutorials on this These tutorials are going to last about an hour apiece, I think. So we're about, well, tw about 26 minutes in. It's not active down that side, is it? When you're striking guys as well don't forget hit that left mouse button and push the mouse forward i think it is to, to lift it yeah forward to lift it which makes that strike and then uh, hooks the fish don't go too soon because like in the real thing you will take the hook away from the mouth of the fish I'm not too happy with how it's going at this this peg. I think we might take a little walk. And then it clunks your ear guys, I'm really sorry, it's just me putting down an e-cigarette. People coming and going, so I'm not happy with this, so let's change pegs. Let's wind that in. Let's go for a little walk. See whether we can pick up on some of the smaller fish and some of the burbot and what have you. So I'm going to head along this way. So we're going to come off the rock, first of all. And we're going to head across here. I'm going to go across this little creek here. And our way around in fact I'm gonna jog my way around a little bit so just want to get to this other side of this pool to where this rock is and we, we're going to pull one out here just not too far just a little bit see if there is anything around here and we've got something rising in the distance but I only want a little flick out here so I'll tighten that line see how we go on with the maggot there eh? See if we can get a burbot out, a small burbot or something. Plenty of the fish rising within this area. I have to take it out a bit further this. See whether anything's going to come to us. I'm just going to tighten the line up a little bit. I'm going to drop red a little bit as well, I think. Definitely something out there making a lot of noise, isn't there? Bring that up again. There we go. We've got a, we've got a take. See what we've got. Uh, we've got another brook trout, very small one, but we'll take the money. So I want money and experience. I'm going to fling one out a bit further this time. There we go. Let it settle. Let's get that so we can actually see it as well. Be a good idea. See the flow. Just tighten that line a bit. Bring it up. Leave it there. See how we go on. See whether we can pick anything up at this end now. Where this, uh, whatever it is, trout or whatever it's bounced about, it's went right past that bay. As you can see, I have my dra my drag set all the time. A lot of people like to have theirs unset and try and play the fish and change it. There we go, that's a big take. Um, try and play the fish that way. I I don't. It's, it's easy enough to keep the drag set, get the fish in quick get some points on the board, some money in there and uh, we go, come on, go, go and drag it away from there don't, no, don't, 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 come on there we go actually we got a decent, decent bull trout then 
uh, we'll take the money for that. We just earned ourselves thirty-four dollars for that. So uh, I tell you what, we'll uh, kick another one out there. And there we go. We've got another one out there. So let it settle down a bit. I'm going to bring that up high again so we can see the bugger. I'm going to move it over. Look a bit if I can from them trees. We'll just take the line in and up. We'll leave the float there where they can see it. See if anything else comes onto that. See whether we can earn any more dollars and uh, get through this level one before the hour's up. <coughs> Excuse me again, guys. She's near again, and we've got to take. Right, if you if you're going too fast, then it starts to redline. Just leave the don't uh, reel in. Just leave it for a second, like pull away, and then come back to it. Uh, nice pumpkin seed. Another five dollars there. We'll have that. We'll uh, try one more around here. I think one more out there, and then we'll move on a little bit further. We'll have a walk a bit further. Let's get that out there. There we will do. Let's see how we go there. So I'm trying to make it sure that we can actually see our float. Um, so we can see a take. That looked like a take already then, didn't it? Like something was going for it already. Nope. It's supposed to have been the way the... Uh, Water's moving near the plot. We'll move further around there in a minute and uh, have a drop in further near to them, nearer to them rocks, and see whether we can pick anything up and on there. The maggots not worked too bad. Possibly a little bit better than the fly did, but we can go always go back to fly, and we've got bread to try yet as well, haven't we? Oh, that was a big take. That was another big take. Let's see what we've got on here. Oh, not too much. See that when it gets to the red, I let go. Oh, nice cut pro trout. Nine dollars. We'll have that. We're getting nearer to the uh, end. Of, to we're getting out of this level one. We'll, uh, we'll go down here. We'll have a walk down here. This is where I want to go. We'll have a little bit of a run. Just want to get down here to this corner. Here, and what we'll do is. We'll flood one out into here towards them rocks a little bit. Oh, we just had a rise in there, haven't we? I just think I'll put one in, in front of us at first. Just a little toss in front and see where we can pick up anything from right in front of us. It's very dark to see that here, yeah, but we'll just have to keep an eye on it because it's close and see where it goes down. Next class we're going to put out towards them rocks where people are fishing. Um, or where people have been fishing on. And we'll have a look here. Have we got something there? Is something interested? Oh, it looks like it. What is it? Nope, it's just me, the way it's looking. So we'll tighten that up a little bit. Let's see when we get anything here. We've got nothing rising in this area again now, haven't we? We might be looking and get a little fish come wandering towards our bait. These fish can be really sneaky, they can be all the way around it and then suddenly one will take it. Can't really see that plot either, I'm just going to tighten that line up a little bit again. 
run like 10 meters out, so we're not really far out. I think we're in any luck here. What we'll do is bring that in. There. And we'll take it out further towards them rocks. So we we'll bring it down there. That way. Halfway. Don't want to hit them rocks, of course. That'll do. There we go. Let's get that so we can see it as well. It's a bit high, but uh, it's only so we can see the float on screen as well. It's a bit Bit hard to see isn't it. Oh look at that we've got a rising now over there. Oh the line's a bit slack on that. Oh we've got something coming towards us though. I'm just gonna tighten that line up a little bit. See where we're in looking and we get to a bit of something come and take this. Which we haven't seen yet. Which uh, I know there's plenty of at different sizes in here. Up to very big sizes. And very small. Tighten that up again. And guys, if you are online and you do see me, please do come and say hello. I am on quite often in the different DLCs. You'll find me in here, you'll find me in Greenland, Thailand. Um, all over the place actually all over the place and if you guys are searching for a particular fish on a particular DLC to add to your uh, thing let me know I can tell you probably what is what bait's going to work for you uh, and where some of them are because some of them are very hard to find it's all a case of hunting them down myself I've just hit level 20, uh, 23 out of 25 so I'm well on my way and I'm about a third of the way to uh, landing 10,000 fish which is the last award I need uh, on this game I've got every award award we're not doing so very well here are we Nothing at all, not a not nothing. You will get some, like the real game, you can get some line knocks on there as well at first. Which look like the takes. So, we've not done any, anything here, so we don't want to waste any more time here. So, let's head on further down. We might actually go onto them rocks and have a, onto this rock here, this platform. And uh, we'll put one or two out here, I think. So, here we go. This is a good good place to fish um, later on when we've got better better tackle and I'll show you that in uh, as we go along. Here we go, so there we go. We'll uh, tighten that line up. We've got we can tighten it to there and we can actually see the flow. So let's see whether we can just pick something up from here. We might have to set the line down a bit further. Um we also remember guys you can actually check from your bait and see by pressing the C key on your keyboard and that takes us underneath that lets us see and we can see fish about you can see our bait we're off the off the bottom which is great we can wait for a fish to come in uh, before we strike here we have the fish what I'm going to do is that's going to take so I'm going to wait there we go I'm going to take it and so we've got, we got an eyed and it's our first time of course it's a new record it's worth three dollars we'll take the three dollars and we'll kick another one out there and we'll see see whether we can get anything else keep that about there and as I, as I say what we'll do again we'll go to the we'll hit the C key so we can actually see the fish that are about 
So a little rainbow trout bite looks a bit cute, so I'm wondering underneath, and it must be very small if you consider the size of it compared to the uh, maggot we've got on the hook. <laughs> and we can keep it there and just have a look round. Unfortunately, on this, you can't move round yourselves, you're only on the position where it shows. Um, so we'll leave it here for a minute. Yeah, it's definitely a rainbow that wondering about. See if there's anything else is uh, wondering about in this area. Oh, oh, that's a big trout. Let's go back up. That's brook trout. Let's go for it. It's a big book, brook trout for the small tackle we've got. Oh, oh, it's right underneath us. It's going to snap us off. There we go. I should have backed off the, uh, the reel, but I didn't. It was a bit big for the tackle we're on. But we'll get one out there again. How are we doing for time? We're on 41 minutes into this tutorial, so we're not doing too bad and we can't complain. Um, we've had a few fish. A quick look around the menu and let's have a look again. We'll get that C key and we'll see what we've got. It's dropping down. Still, there we go. We're at the bottom again. Let's hope we get something a little bit smaller than that so we can actually get some money in and then buy better equipment, of course, as we go along. It's another big book trout. Let's strike and we're into it. And let's let him have a little bit of a run, a little bit of a reel in, a little bit of a run, a little bit of a reel in. As you can see, I'm just taking it. Oh, 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 no, ah, too much. I brought him too near. Right, so I'm going to back off this, uh, this drag a, a little bit once we're in the water. So let's just chuck it out again because we've got the brook trout's attention. Right, so I'm going to press the middle mouse button. I don't want to go that way, I want it to go that way. Come on. No, 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 a bit further down. Oh, I've got no control of this at all, have I? 33 seems to be the minimum I can do on this reel, which I forgot about. So we'll, uh, we'll have to leave it there. What I'll do is I'll back off the reel, so we're not reeling in as fast. Don't want him to take... I don't want to take too much. Let's have a quick look underneath the water. So, oh, we're on the rainbow trout like looks of it. So here we go, quick strike. Here we go. I can always let line out as well by hitting the space bar. And we can reel in. Let line out, reel in, reel in. Here he comes. In. We might get a bit of a look here. at it. This one, there we go. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, we'll have that, we'll have the $13 for that one. A trout are biting on the maggots. Should we try? And we've got no maggots left, no bait. So let's try the bread, see whether we get anything on the bread. So let's just try a, a piece of bread for now. Uh, what I'll do is as well, I'll just turn that up a little bit further. So here we go, let's bang this out and see where we can pick something else up. So there we go. Let's get this over so I can see it. If I can, I can't. I'll have to do there. I'll just tighten the line up. Let's go down and see what that bait's doing and if it's going to be enticing anything. We're off the bottom, which is good. And even though we've been on the bottom a few times, not seen any burbot about, and there's normally hundreds of them around. We now come up to three quarters of an hour into this tutorial. Oh, we are. Here we go. What have we got here? Bluegill, have we got? Let's uh, see what we've got. As you can see, the bread's working as well. Oh, pumpkin seed and a new record for us and it's worth five dollars we're coming up we're gonna if we look here we're gonna get getting onto level two on our first tutorial so we'll get that back out there see where we're looking we can pick something else up there we go dropping down see if we get no pumpkin seed I 
don't forget guys just pressing the C takes you back to up and back down so you've got plenty of choice there to be able to see what's coming about I thought I'd just leave it on this one for now just to see what if ever we've got any fish about here we go with another one we'll get ready for this one and it's taken it there we go and we'll bring him in yeah these pumpkin seeds are liking these we'll get that we've just hit level two guys and we've not up to the hour probably six minutes in or just over five minutes six minutes 20 seconds something like that let's flick out don't forget you don't need massive casts on this to uh to catch fish at this point so we, we're gaining a little bit of money we spent a little bit of money and we've gained a little bit of money and we'll go back and we'll have a look at the number of fish we've caught of course there's a couple got away or more than a couple but this one got away <laughs> just like in the real thing we don't land every fish every time Let's go back down underneath, see whether there's anything else about. See whether we can get another pumpkin seed to uh, grab hold of one of these. Oh, here's one coming in now by the looks of it. Is it? No, it's not. Oh, it's another eye, I think. There we go, strike. Let's get in, back up a little bit. Let's bring him in. There he is. Oh, it's a trout, is it? Can't tell what it is. Oh, it's an eye. It's an eye. Definitely an eye. Not bad, $16 for that, we'll have that, bread's working really well here, so we'll, uh, we'll click another one out and then we'll have a, after the next fish we'll have a move round towards uh, one of the other very good marks, pegs on there, which is a peg three we're going to be heading towards. And when we've got better equipment and we can do a bit of uh, spooning on there. Yeah, that's going to be one of the spots I'm going to show you where to hit. See if we're getting any more interest. Let's have a look underneath again. We've done really well here. Now it is yet. Come back up top and watch it from the top. There we go. Well, these pumpkin seeds are loving the bread, so we know what we can um, at least start getting some dollars in the bank. Let's take that walk of a cent we was going to have. So there we go. Well, let's take a run actually. We'll go around here. We'll go up here a bit. And I'm going to try from around about here. So we'll go out. We'll just flip one out, see whether we get anything. We're not ready far now, it's only a flick out. We'll have a look underneath, see how far away from it can only be. We're not too bad. See whether there's any fish around this area just for now. If we don't get a chance here, we'll move on to somewhere else. Now, it might run over the hour this I'm, as I'm going about. As you can see, some very, very small fish in here as well. Very small fish. When you consider the size of the hook we're on. It's not looking too fantastic at the moment, is it? Uh, you can also hide the menu there for shows about reeling in and what have you as well by pressing the old button and pressing it back or bring it up. The chat's up. You can talk on that anytime you want. F2, you can um, hide it if you want to hide it. You can hide it. F2 will bring it back. Um, it's always good. If you're having trouble and there's people in uh, fishing, you can always ask the community that's out there fishing for any tips on how to catch fish. Here we go. Oh, burbot. Right, I'm going back up top for this because this is a burbot. This is what we've been after before. I, I said there was loads of it, but we didn't actually get a chance. These are real fighters. 
Uh, we're going to have to let this guy run because he's a big fish. So let him tide himself out a bit on that drag. Every now and then give it a quick check. I, I prefer this on the feet to be honest because I like to try and check it every 30 to 80 feet it gets. So if it's on say 100 feet, 130 I'll check I'll just see whether I can bring it in a bit without losing any of it. Or if it's carrying on I'll let it go up to the 180 feet and try again and see how we're going. How we're doing well, we're bringing this guy, he's coming in. Here he goes, there we go, we've got a nice bird but worth $12, a new record of course because it's the first time we've caught one. There we go, that's what we wanted. Uh, we'll take another wonder down a bit further. So we'll go down there, pass that stump and just at this side of the rocks, which is the opposite side of where I'd fish normally. See this little rock here, I'm going to, just going to go try and get to the side of that. That's not too bad, that'll do. Let's see whether we've got anything there. Let's get, just nip underneath and have a look. Let's just tighten that line again. Let's see how far we are from the bottom. Oh, we've got no bait. Oh, that's no good, is it? Sorry, guys. Let's get that back in. Let's get it back in fast. You can change the, the speed of the really when you're doing it. Let's buy ourselves some more bait or change it. Should we, uh, should we try some maggot? Well, we've already got. We'll just hit escape. We'll pick the maggot. And we'll equip. Oh, we've got no maggots left either. Okay, so we're going to have to buy a couple of maggots. We'll buy a couple of bread as well while we're at it. We'll go back to maggot and we'll try maggot on there. We'll resume and we'll kick it out. And I'll try and get a little bit nearer that rock. No, I've gone further away, haven't I? <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Terrible cast. Right, let's get back underneath and see how that's dropping down. Maggot's not too far away. Let's see whether the maggot picks anything up here. If not, we'll try a, a bread. Um, we've got seven minutes to go to come to the hour. I might run over a little bit longer. I want to go practically back to where we started. Not looking uh, very good, is it? There's no fish moving in the background or anything like that. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. We've got another ride. And we're into it. Just back off every time it's going into there. We don't really want to go over there. It's going my way now. Here we go. There we go. And it's a nice $15 one. And we're quarter of the way through. Um, let's, oh, we've got somebody fishing next to us. How do you do, Mr. Question Mark? Let's go up and around and see how we go on, on the other side of this. Because on the other side of this, I'm going to show you now. Here, what we do is you come to about here when you're coming on. But if you come down and to here, this is a great spot to fish from. And what we'll do is we'll just tilt, tilt one out onto that rock there. Or over towards that rock there. There's a lot of fish around here normally on either side of this rock and behind it. Um, always a good place to, to fish no matter what type of fishing you're doing on here. So let's leave that there. Let's go underneath and have a look. So we're quite near that rock which is really good. Let's hope with some of the smaller fish in the man. Gonna make me out a liar, it's not a fishing site. Oh here we go. It's another burbot. So let's see that take that. There we go. We're in. Again, we're gonna have to give it line and, and let it run a little bit. We don't want it to run too far because we don't want to run into that rock. So I'm just bringing reeling it in little by little way. There we go. Excellent. No oh, good bird, but there we go. Let's move further on. There's a lot of people fishing down this way, so uh, 
Let's not disturb them too much. Of course, we're coming back towards the end where we normally fish. Hi guys, if you recognise yourself on there, cowboy 200, what, how are you doing? And we've got a little rock out there, as you can see, we've got fish right in front of us. So we're going to just pop one out there. About halfway if I can get it. That'll do nicely. And we'll see how we go on. It's a bit hard to see the uh, the plot again. On there, I'm going to have to put it inside a little white piece there. See where we can see it actually move if I can keep my mouse steady. There we go. See where we can pick something up on this. In fact, we'll go underneath and see where there's anything about. Oh, we've got no bait again. Oh, guys, sorry, I should have checked that. I should have looked up. It tells me no bait on the screen. Did I look? No. So always make sure you've got enough bait. So I'm used to uh, having a lot of bait these days and not only having to buy um, local bits. Let's go put bread then. Okay, we'll resume. We'll try and cat one, cat, catch one out of this centrepiece between the rock and us. Uh, well, that's a bit, bit near, but it'll do. I'll do for what we want. I can see the float at least against that white. So let's have a look underneath. Uh, we're not too bad as you can see there's fish about. Plenty of fish. Nothing coming our way yet. I'm not really interested in this bread at the moment. We're three minutes away from the hour guys, I think I'm going to run over a little bit. And if you like this tutorial guys and you've got anything from it please let me know down in the comments please do subscribe to the channel it would uh, make it well worth it, me doing these get a bit of uh, interaction back i'm not sponsored by anybody i'm just a, a another guy like yourselves um but i thought i'd come out and share my little bit of knowledge of this particular simulator and if you want to look at any of my other simulators uh, plenty there, yeah we've got a fish here now, we've got another ride by lots of it and here we go um, I do farming sim 19, farming sim 22 is going to be coming very soon to the channel um, Euro truck simulator, American truck simulator um, they're all on there as well as this and a little golf game World Golf Tournament which is an online golf simulator which is absolutely excellent to be honest um, and it's a free game on steam as well what it was when I got it let's have a look see where we can pick something else up from here we'll oh, down there buy a nice chunk of wood if you want any help and advice you can always contact me as well this is my second channel I, I do vape reviews as you can hear me popping on a, a, a vape all the way through this I'm afraid sorry guys but that's what I do plenty of fish about but nothing again coming for it we'll have to wait for that fish to so come, should we wait at the top? Let's have a look from the top, see how we go on. Pretty hard to see that, uh, that float, uh, both on the water and there. I'm going to tighten that line up a bit, it's a bit too loose. And we've got a little tap there, I think, or was that my moving the line? Let's have a quick look. Up underneath there, it's my moving the line, I'm going to just take it again. It does it again after that? No, nope. okay. Do 
give it a short time and then we'll bring it in and move, move on if we don't see anything let's have a look down below see where anything comes near Nope. Looks like we're not in luck at the moment. Let's bring it in. Let's move further around towards where we are. We're over by 17 seconds on the uh, on the video, but never mind. I can go up to 20 minutes after if I need to. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. So let's bring that back in. That was me with my uh, dicky finger. The nerve twitched and I actually pressed the button. There you go. Plenty of people here. Hi guys, I hope you've all got tight lines and all doing well. Let's move around. And what we're going to do, we're going to go towards this first rock here. As you can see, there's probably new people there. And we're just going to pop into here and see whether we can get anything. Just a little flick in. See where we are. Keep that there. We'll uh, drop that there. Let's so hope we've got off the bottom there. And we are, it's uh, very grassy, we've got trout in the background, rainbow trout might look a bit. Oh, and one of my friends on here has just, uh, just come on to do his uh, fishing. Uh, I don't know what DLC he'll be on. Could be the fish coming there. There's a little rainbow trout. Mm. See how we go on here for a, a few minutes. We're only two minutes over anyway, or three minutes over at the moment. Let's see whether we can entice anything over. a bit grassy here isn't it <coughs> excuse me guys especially you guys with headphones on and do apologize we're not enticing anything here let's go up the top let's bring it in you can't see anything, we know the further beyond towards that other rock. So from here I'm going to chuck out towards that rock and hope that we uh, we get something. I'm sorry guys if I'm going across you. There we go. We're just on the other side of that rock. Could have done with a little bit further but that'll do for now. Let's have a look, see if we're, we're near anything at all. to be a bit further on. We've got no fish swimming in the background unfortunately but we'll leave it there see whether anything picks up on it. Can't even see any fish fishing uh, any fish coming past or anybody else's uh, fish coming by. I think if it's a bad spot here. Nothing so far, nothing even moving about around us, even though we've seen fish over this way before. So what we'll do is we'll go in, we'll uh, Bring that up with two near to there and we'll head back round. There's a lot of people with question marks on the reds. <laughs> Let's uh, go over here and we'll, we'll go round and go back to where we was originally. We'll just come past this guy here and what we'll do is we'll chuck one out into here. So we're gonna, I'm going to chuck a fairly big one out into here. See, 
whether we can get anything all of it towards that end. Let's uh, have a look. Yeah, we're cleared in there, all right. No fish to be seen in the background, no. We knew it's uh, the other peg, I think it's peg two. We knew that it was the bread was very light by the uh, and what have you. Oh, oh, he's swinging about a bit. I don't know what made the uh, float move about. It was up to make a swing, but obviously there was something. Maybe a line catch as a fish passed. Nothing here, we might be a bit too far out. Let's bring it in. No, you don't have to bring it in and cast back out, you can just bring it in. Let's bring it to about 10 yards. Yeah, that'll do, 9.5. There we go, let's get it above that. The float's bobbing about a little bit. Let's see whether we can bring it towards any fish. Still nothing passing. Plenty of movement on the water here, haven't we? Still nothing, let's bring it in a little bit more. I'll just be watching down at the bottom near the reel to see how many meters. I'm going to take it to about eight to seven meters away. There we go, I've gone a bit further than I wanted. We are very near the bottom. Let's see where we can get something to settle on it there. Again, we can't see any fish in the background or any fish passing. Let's have a look from the top. We're very, very close. It should be where the fish are, but there's no fish showing. So uh, we'll bring it in, there's nothing rising. Um, so that was a dead end along that side, so what we'll do is, before we end, we've got to get another fish. So we'll go back to two, as you can see I'm at two. I'm going to walk towards the end so I can see the end. That's it, and I'm going to flick out there and see where we can pick up something else. Before we go. Keep that in about there. That should do it. Let's have a look underneath. Fish in the background swimming away. Let's hope we can pick something up around here again. We're coming to 10 minutes over. You can see a small trout about rainbow trout again there. At least we've had some fish moving about at this end. Oh here we go, big burbot again. And let's go put him, there we go. I'm going to have to play this with Guy, slowly but surely, he's pulling us along a bit, uh, let's bring him in slowly but surely, oh he's going to snap us off, he snapped us off, he was a big lad, we can't go without getting another fish, so let's get it out there, and just see whether we can pick something up small, I'm going to reduce the uh, reel speed, 
because there's some big fish around here. Let's have a look. There's some big trout out there. As well. Oh, we've got no bait again. Oh, that's, that's bad. That's bad. Let's get that back in. And if you, if you carry on pulling it in, guys, it'll just pop out of the water and you'll be back to the top. And what I didn't do is show you when the fish is on, so we'll uh, we'll do that as well, I think. So let's got some bait on. Let's buy some more bread because they are interested in the bread. How are we doing for money? We do. We got two hundred and sixty dollars, so we're not doing too bad. Let's resume. Let's flick it out. There we go. Oh. Nineteen and a half meters away. Let's have a look at it where it's sinking. So there'll be some fish about in this area. I haven't overcast. Not looking too well here, is it? Let's go back up top and watch it from the top and see where we can see that float. Bob at any time. <coughs> oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I was too busy looking at the other monitor. What I'll do is I'll just show you the fish underneath that shows us. We've got an eye there as we try to bring him in and we'll start bringing him in. There we go. And there we have it. Yeah, well, that's another three dollars for us and we're well on our way anyway guys that's it for this tutorial these uh, basics of getting around and baits that we can buy um so that's it for that but let, before we do go let's have a look here we can check our progress for today and experience we got 154 points out of 250 we got 263 dollars um our time spent on an hour and three minutes uh, we've caught 19 fish well we've, we actually hooked 23 but we've actually landed 19 and our biggest fish is the uh, bull trout there that's uh, two pound 18 uh 0.49 meters long amber and our normal difficulty level we uh we can now unlock these as you can see so we can unlock that one we can unlock that one can we i think no only one at a time we've got to go further on uh, the Argus for the frozen uh, lake part, which is, is really good um, to build up some fish as well. Uh, fishing this lake as frozen, uh, we'll gain some more strength as we go on and get more, any of the unlocked ones that we want. Um, and that's it, let's go resume. I'll tell you what guys, before we go, we'll go for one more local fish. We'll pump one out. We'll leave it about there. And we'll see how we go on, and then we go in. As soon as we've uh, landed one, the stream's going to end because we're like one hour, fourteen minutes in. We can, we were a bit lucky. It should last till about one hour to enter. Let's have a look underneath. We're not in a bad position. Let's hope we get some interest. Fish tail at this time that line up a little bit. They tighten in the line. There we go, hand it in. And we'll just play this. Let's have a look what oh, we got Burbot on. There we go guys, we got another four dollars. Thank you guys for watching, without a bait anyway. And uh, don't forget, carry on watching the rest of the tutorials. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that jazz, whatever you think about the uh, the video and the tutorial. And I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye for now.